Hey guys, Chad Lang here, master electrician and owner of Clear Electric. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to put in a GFCI plug. Uh, a little bit different than other videos. This one here is going to be in the bathroom. This is a house that we are working on here in Gross Point, Michigan. Uh, we did uh, the bathroom and the kitchen, living room, dining room, master bedroom, put in a bunch of lights, new switches, new plugs, new wiring, new circuits, did a lot here. Uh, just going through on some finishes here in, in this house. What we're going to show you is a plug in the bathroom. This is at the vanity. And what we're going to do is a line-line installation of a GFCI outlet. Um, now what that means is it's not going to be a line load. So we're going to hook all our wires just up to these terminals here and nothing on the load terminals because we don't have any plugs that we want to protect um, coming off this GFI. This main power comes into this box here and um, put a little disclaimer on this. Always check and make sure your power is off before you start working on any electric. Uh, verified that already and did that. Um, what we've got here instead of protecting any plugs that are down line is we have power coming in and then this power going out goes to the lights in the room. So what we want to do is we don't, if this GFCI trips, you have a little ground fault on here and it trips and you know, say you got a little water on it from the sink, well you don't want to lose your lights when that happens. So in this type of an installation the plug will kick out giving you some personal safety, making sure that you're not getting electrocuted, but the lights will stay on, okay? So, a little more simple on this side. What we've got here is your gold screw, and that's where your black wires are gonna hook up to. That's your hot or your line side, okay? Then we've got your white wires, which is the neutral, and that's where those are gonna terminate onto that silver screw. So in any plug installation, you're gonna have the gold screw is going to go to the back, the black wires, and the silver screw, screw is going to go to the white wires in the neutral. And then the green coated screw is always for your ground here. Okay, and you want to make sure that you have that ground as well. Uh, very important for these to work properly. Uh, this plug is a tamper resistant plug, and I don't know if you're going to get a real good shot on that, but it's actually stamped right here on the face of the plug. Make sure in any plugs that you're switching out, that these are tamper resistant because that is code now you have to have these by code so we want to make sure we meet those minimum requirements for safety okay so that's it very simple we're gonna go ahead and put this in so black wires to the gold screw and these ones here will just plug right in just like this we want to make sure that they're set in there and that you have a good connection we'll go ahead and tighten that down uh, you can use a drill for this, small drill, I recommend. I don't go with anything too powerful to do plugs and switches because sometimes it'll strip that screw out and once you're done with it, you'll be able to pull those wires right back out. So what you wind up doing is you wind up putting wires back into the box that are liable to either fall out or not have a tight connection which will spark and arc inside the box and potentially cause a fire hazard. So we definitely don't want that. Looks like this one here I trimmed a little too much off of. So we'll go ahead and just clean that up a little bit so we don't have too much of that wire hanging out of the back of the plug. <clears throat> okay. We'll go ahead and plug in this ground wire here. Okay. Now, I'm going to give these all a little tug. Make sure that they're nice and snug and they're not going to go anywhere. Something else that I like to do is uh, just take uh, some tape, carefully not to cover over your mounting screws for the device. Just go around and give this plug and a switch if that's what you're doing. A couple wraps of tape. And what that does is it just kind of prevents the uh, ground wire from folding back on the hot wires of the plug, making sure that you don't wind up with a uh, with a short. So I would recommend black tape usually, but I have just for the expense of it. <clears throat> but I just have green tape on me today, so that's what we're gonna use because there's no point for me to walk all the way out to the service fan. 
to grab a roll of tape when I got some on me. So that's pretty much it guys. Other than that, let's go ahead, mount this into the box and it will be ready for a cover plate. Now after you're done with this, they make a little three prong plug tester that you can buy at your local hardware store there. I don't know, eight to ten dollars, eight to twelve I guess maybe depending on where you're at. And that will, uh, you'll go ahead and plug that right in. It's got three lights on there and it's got a key next to the lights that tells you whether or not the plug is properly wired. <clears throat> if it's not properly wired, it will tell you what's wrong with it, such as open neutral, open ground. What an open neutral and open ground means that the plug reader is not recognizing it, which means you have an improper installation that's missing the neutral. If you have an open neutral, it's missing the ground if you have an open ground. So you need to remedy that before you put it into everyday use. So that's that. It's ready for a cover plate and to be checked. I hope that was helpful to you. So remember, in a situation where you don't want to lose your lights, and there's no other plugs that you need to protect off of this GFCI, just do a line-line installation, okay? So hopefully that was helpful. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. If you're in the Metro Detroit, Metro Detroit area, please feel free to look us up if you need an electrician. That's www.clearelectric.net. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.